Welcome guys to another WordPress how-to video. In this video, we're gonna learn how to install WordPress at Flywheel Web Hosting, and then later on, learn how to use all of their cool and customer-friendly solutions inside the Flywheel dashboard. So without further ado, let's head over to Flywheel. I'm gonna type in my link here, which is just gregnerryan.com, that's the name of the channel, .com forward slash Flywheel, and hit enter. And you can grab that link in the description uh, right below the video too. That'll just make sure that I get credit for sending you to Flywheel at no cost to you. Thanks so much, that's just how I keep making more YouTube videos. And more importantly, it'll make sure you get a discount at Flywheel, which is $11.25 per month, down from whatever else it says right here. So first off, you'll see that there's a couple different prices at Flywheel. And there are a couple different prices because you can get a year of hosting up front or you can pay for one month at a time. So let's see what we mean by that. Why don't we click on get the deal. All right, and then here we have the current July, Fly July 20 deal, which is our coupon we're gonna use. And then you can either do annually, which will reduce the monthly price, or monthly, which means paying a little bit more per month. So. A lot better value to choose annually because you will pay less for the hosting per month. Now if you're wondering why you didn't know about Flywheel until now, it's because they're pretty under the radar. They were only started in 2012 and don't spend a ton of time with marketing or trying to do things that other web hosts do. What Flywheel spends their time doing is creating things that the customers that they have and love need, but that no other web hosts have. For example, how many other web hosts do you know that show an actual video of what goes on in the dashboard on their homepage? How many web hosts do you know that can scroll down and show you exactly what effortless services they offer in a clickable fashion? Having gotten to know Flywheel a bit, I can tell you that they're not only unique people, but a unique service and that they're intuitive. Meaning when you log in, you'll actually see things that you want to see and click on and things you actually want to use, like how to stage for every site so you can test things in a sample environment before they go live, or how to optimize WordPress, or how to set up your free CDN for more speed. So you're not gonna see buttons that you don't wanna click or that look confusing. They're gonna actually guess and probably get it right in terms of what you like. That means that Flywheel can be good for not only web designers and agencies, but bloggers and beginners, and even advanced website creators who just wanna try something super fresh. Now some people like for me to talk them through all the different plans at a certain host before we sign up. So we can do that really quick, even though I know we're gonna go with the tiny plan because it's the best for someone who's on a budget and it's gonna work great for our first WordPress site. So first of all, we are in the Manage WordPress hosting area, which is gonna be Flywheel's bread and butter product for starting your WordPress website. All right, so we're on this page, best managed WordPress hosting for busy creatives. And then you can click view plans and it's gonna take us right back to where we were. Now that we know we want Manage WordPress hosting, what is Manage WordPress? Well, it's basically all the tools you'd need for WordPress, like creating a site, deleting a site, backing up a site, adding an SSL, managing your plugins and themes, all that, and your pricing, of course, all in a really convenient dashboard, as opposed to having this totally wonky dashboard that's made for web designers who might wanna use Weebly, or Wix or you know Magento or something else and it's only a little bit WordPress, this one is all WordPress, so it's basically built with you in mind if you do in fact want to use WordPress.org, which we did. So within the Manage WordPress, we have our tiny, ideal for small symbol cells. We have our starter, which is gonna be a little bit more costly, but lets us have more monthly visitors, more disk space, and more bandwidth. That would be, of course, traffic, and then how much storage you have. And then bandwidth is basically a tube through which data comes through, so it's gonna make your site run a little bit faster if you have more bandwidth. Next up, we have the freelance option, which is where you get up to 10 sites. So if you know you wanna run several different blogs or websites now, or maybe make some sites for your family, or if you're gonna run a bunch of sites for your agency, and then have customers which whom you make a website for, then this would be a good option with the freelance. And then lastly, agency is super powerful. So if you're like a super powerful WordPress agency and you have employees, tons of customers, and you're charging a lot for your websites and monthly services, then agency could be right for you. I'll tell you right now though, that the tiny plan is gonna be good even if you have more than 5,000 monthly visits, because generally they don't tell you, you know, you can't get more traffic. 
they'll help you get as much traffic as you can and then maybe recommend you upgrade your plan but honestly you're going to be great with a ton of traffic on tiny five gigabytes is a ton of disk space too i doubt you'll be able to fill that up I've run blogs for years and years and still doesn't reach that total amount with images, videos, all that. And then bandwidth is of course something you know you got to think about in the future. But if you're just making your first flywheel, then Tiny is going to be plenty. So without further ado, why don't we click on Get Started and let's set up a Tiny plan together. Okay, we need to choose a plan to create a new site. And of course Flywheel makes this all super fresh, super user friendly, and we'll be installing WordPress in no time. I'm going to give ourselves a name here, which is just going to be Greg's plan. You can choose your data center. That's kind of neat. So if you have more readers or more of an audience in one of these different locations like Australia, go ahead and choose that because the data center will be closer to where your users are. In my case, I'm in the US and I have a lot of US readers for my blogs. Now we'll scroll down and choose how we would like to pay. So yearly, of course, would be a little bit cheaper in the long run. But I'm just going to go monthly so we're not locked into anything. Both are good. If you're wondering why it's 150 a year, then I can bring in my handy calculator here for us. And that would just be 11, 25 times 12. And I'm actually not sure why it says 150 per year here, two months free, because that monthly price times 12 is 135. But we'll find out in a second when we enter our coupon a little bit further down. So if you want to do yearly, just choose this one and monthly do this one. Then we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna add a payment method. So Flywheel is 100% secure, just like shopping anywhere, like Apple, eBay, Amazon, Netflix, wherever you shop online. I'm gonna add a credit card so I can get some points. All right. And I'm just gonna blank this out here so no one can go on a shopping spree. And then we're gonna click add card. All right, now let's scroll down and pop in our billing address for your subscription. All right, and as you can see, Flywheel makes this all super simple and clean and modern. Now it's time for our discount code. So we're gonna go with that Fly July 20 option, but make sure to look beneath the video in the down bar description and I'll update you on any coupons that are coming out at the moment because you might be signing up in the future month from now, a year from now, whatever, and I want to keep you up to date on those. So make sure to look down there. All right, great, so that discount would show up successfully for you right here. It's gonna say three months off our yearly plans, but we're not getting the yearly, so nothing to really see there. Now we're gonna scroll down and see that in our billing summary, we just have the tiny plan. Perfect, no extras, no fluff, no bells and whistles. Total charges today are gonna to be what you see on the right. Let me know if you have any questions about the math of it all. I know when I signed up for my first hosting plan, I was super concerned about all the cents adding up and called the hosting plan and they explained it, but I'm here to help for you so it all makes sense. All right, guys and gals, so we're all set right here. And in the next step, we are gonna install WordPress onto our domain name of choice. And we're gonna set up our domain name in the next step too. So follow me and let's click on checkout. Awesome, so our payment worked, and we're now on step two, set up your WordPress site. Let's do it. It says, thanks for your payment, now let's get your site set up. Beautiful, let's just come down and let's choose a site name. So this would be the name of your blog or website or business. I'm just gonna call this Flywheel Demo. We get a temporary domain name right now. So I'm gonna try Flywheel Demo dot flywheelsites.com that's just what it looks like for now and then we're gonna scroll down and pop in our WP admin username which I usually just like doing first name and then just a password that we'll use to log into WordPress all right and create the site I'm gonna pop open our email inbox here so we're ready when we get that flywheel email all right, and we are in business, folks. Awesome. Here we are in our flywheel demo, but your site will probably be called something different. If we click on add a screen, you can upload an image here or go with like an automatic screenshot background sort of thing. If you click on this link, it should open our site in a new tab. Then it's gonna ask you to log in, but we don't need to do that right now. What we need to do is go to the right-hand side and tackle a few housekeeping issues here. If we hover on the gear, you can see we can change site name, create blueprint, clone site, which is a copy of it, or delete it, or restore it to a certain default. 
if we click on WP Admin, it's going to open your site in this super private window right here with this sign in tab that comes out. But we don't want that, so we're going to click off on privacy mode, which should make us get the normal WordPress login. So now let's click WP Admin, and we get the normal WordPress login. All you need to do is type in the username and password we created a moment ago before Flywheel thought for a while and log in. And it might do a, kill, a little error like that for a second, which is just because it's not quite ready for us to log in. So not to worry, just try logging in again and it should work great for you. Just sort of a WordPress troubleshooting thing you might see, but we solved it together. All right, so now we're here in WordPress. Welcome to WordPress, guys. If you click on the site title in the upper left where I am, it'll take you to your homepage, and our site is wearing the WordPress 2020 theme. Super beautiful, fun, and of course, mobile friendly. If we drag things in, that's gonna be a mobile friendly design. Everything will collapse for a new device, whatever device your audience is using. And if we click back to the dashboard in the upper left, we can make all of our WordPress content. Why don't we click on updates because it wants us to go there with four updates. We can see that we have four different themes, 2016 through 2020. I'm gonna to toggle them all and update them because that's what it means when it shows us that four right there. We should do an update, either to themes, plugins, or something on your site. All right, folks, we're getting into WordPress now clearly and I'm so excited. In the next video, we're gonna learn how to change your domain name so it looks like a real domain name and also change your WordPress theme. I'm so excited to do that with you and let's get to it.